Hello, this is Benjamin from National Camera Exchange. In this Lightroom tutorial, I want to show something about collections within Lightroom. Within Library, we can look at our images, but we might want to make subgroups to stay a little bit more organized. Or maybe before we present images to a certain client, we want to kind of bundle some of the select images together for some additional organization. So that's one thing collections are really handy for. So right now I've got one of these wolf pup images. I'm going to pull back. I've actually got a bunch of them here. Maybe I have a select few. I'm going to choose this first group here by shift clicking to grab those. And then I want to grab a couple more down here. So I'll command click these extra images. And I want to take these select images and put them in one collection so they're organized together. So I open up my collections. These are pre-existing collections I already have in my library. I'm going to go ahead and push the addition symbol and create a collection. I get to name the collection so I can kind of find these logically next time around. These are all wolf pup images, so that's what I'm going to name them. And create here. So now if I come down here, those 10 images I had kind of pre-selected have been moved into this, this collection here. There's another type of collection we might oftentimes use shows up here. It's called a smart collection and it's a little bit different. When we look at smart collections, basically they're like a uh, kind of like a search engine that looks at all of your images. And we get to choose criteria that every image might have so that it can select and kind of pull it into itself. And as we keep bringing additional images into our library, the smart collection will continue to populate itself with any image that contains the criteria that you set up. So right now, I have uh, three things I've kind of set as criteria for this smart collection. I have ratings. Um, I'm going to choose, you know, any rating that's three or we can go higher, but right now we're just going to choose three. The pick flag. I really only want to bring flagged images into this one. And keywords. I'm going to choose keywords contains you know, all those images that I'm kind of trying to bring in right now have wolves in there, so that's going to work. And then if I create that, I'll get a smart collection here with uh, four images that contain all of that set criteria. Again, the star rating, the flag, and the keyword wolves. So just to recap on the difference in between the sort of smart collection I have here and the normal collection, right now in the smart collection, I have images that contain that criteria, the flag, the stars, the keyword. If I go into my library and I, I find other images or I add additional images into my library that have this same criteria, the keyword wolf, uh, these three stars and a flag, they'll be populated into this without me doing anything. It'll just get bigger and bigger collecting images that have this criteria. This smart collection sort of runs this hunt to gather images that have its set criteria on its own in the background all the time. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. And feel free to let us know what other tutorials you'd like to see in the comments below this video. I'm Benjamin with National Camera Exchange.